What's going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome. And as I promised, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my trip to D.C. Now, this is the trip going to D.C. and how crazy it was. My trip to D.C. was absolutely insane. First, when we leave Atlanta, Georgia, for those who don't know, we get to Athens, Georgia, right? I, I I took a bus. To go at, no, first of all, don't mind these stickers. These are stickers on my face, okay? Don't mind these stickers. This is what happens when you got kids with stickers. Children with stickers, they will be on you. Don't even worry about it. Because y'all not hip to get these stickers. Y'all not gangster enough to get these stickers on your face, okay? Only hardcore people get stickers on their face. So don't judge because you ain't a good gangster if you ain't got stickers on your face from a three-year-old. Don't even worry about it. Anyway, we get, we get on the bus. We're driving. Right out the gate, here's the problem. The bus... We have to switch buses immediately. Right out the gate of the trip, got to switch buses. Okay? So, we stop in Athens, Georgia to switch buses. Off the rip is already a problem. Where's that problem, you ask? One of, the, one of the passengers gets mad at the bus driver because she accused him of leaving or forgetting or misplacing her luggage, right? And she's going on and on about it. I need my luggage. I need my luggage. Now, keep this in mind. The bus driver mm-hmm. isn't the one that handles the luggage. They have people for that. They have people to do that. They have people to do that already who handle the luggage. Mm-hmm. The bus driver just drives the bus. Yeah, people who deal with the luggage, okay? So, but she's accusing the bus driver of mishandling the luggage. And she's going, and the man's name is Jorge. How do I know that, you ask? I know that because when she asked him what's his name, he said Jorge, and she kept saying like 10 times, Jorge, I need your name and number, Jorge. So that goes on for about a good 15 minutes. And we get back on the bus, right? And when we get to our first rest stop, I think it's in somewhere in North Carolina, it's our first rest stop, right? We got a 30, 30 minute rest stop. And A problem happens. Another problem happens. The problem with this was the bus driver, because we, we had a new bus driver also. The new bus driver accidentally locks his paperwork, his manifest and stuff, in his company car, right? He locks his stuff in his company car so he can't proceed to to drive on. He has to go. He has to find a way to get inside of his car. So it's him and three other passengers with hangers, literally wire hangers, and the little Slim Jim she used to pry open the lock to try to get the door unlocked so he can get his paperwork so we can continue to go on. That goes on for like an hour. For an hour. This is where it really gets crazy. When the 30 minute break is over and we finally, we finally, finally get back on the road. There's this woman, this big, heavy set woman that wants to sit next to me, right? Got no problem with that, no problem at all. When she sit next to me, she has the little, the little breathing thing, got the little tubes in your nose, got the little, uh, the little breathing, I got the little black box breathing pack thing, that kind of like, like a battery powered generator for the oxygen that you breathe and your, the tubes in your nose. I get hit on I get hit on my, my left thigh with that hit right in my left eye. Bam! I said, oh crap. I think it's heavy. So she moves it. And we're driving, we're driving, we're driving. And then she asked me to plug her her little uh air pack generator thing into the uh overhead overhead uh plug outlet. No problem with that, did that. And this is where this is where the day goes crazy. Maybe a couple of like two hours into the drive, the bus breaks down. The bus breaks down because of it was a problem with the airflow of the bus. And because of that, the bus had to pull over to the side of the road. And the pitches of black, I know, I know pitches ain't even a word, but the pitches of black, right? 
And when we stopped, all the electricity in the bus went out because you had to turn off the bus. All the electricity went out in the bus. That includes the phone charges, all that stuff, right? So what happens, the, the power goes out, which also means the lady next to me, her little, her little air generator thing, her little air ventilator nose thing goes out too because of the, uh, the power. So I wake up, right? I'm, I'm, I'm sleeping because we're driving. I wake up because I want to know. Because I want to know, okay, what, what happened? Where are we? It's like I said, don't mind the stickers. I want to know what happened. Where are we? So I wake up from, from my sleep. I see that it's all dark. All dark. Inside the bus and outside the dark. And outside the bus, it's just dark, pitch black. Like, I don't, I still don't even know where we were. I still don't know where we were when we stopped. I don't know. But I look over to my left to see what's going on, and the lady that's next to me is asleep. Now, here's the thing I didn't know she was asleep. Because when I woke up, I see her, I see her sitting next to me like this. And I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. Her breathing thing got no power because when you plug it up, you know, the, the power's off of the bus. I said, oh, no. I said, I said oh, man. They don't, let, they say, don't let this lady die next to me because I'm thinking, okay, she's like, she, because the power, uh, power out on the bus, she can't breathe because of the ventilator thing. Her, her tube things uh, uh, got no power coming in. So when I look over, she like this. I said, "Oh no, this lady! Please don't let this lady die next to me." Oh no, come on, don't don't do this. Come on, wake up, wake up. I was going to tap her to see if she was awake. When I when I was about to, the bus started back up because the, the bus driver had to reset the bus, and that was that. So we driving and driving. She wakes up. I said, "Okay, cool, she's fine. All right." But then she goes back to sleep. Now instead of I don't know whether or not she could breathe. Now she's snoring in my ear. The lady I thought passed out and died next to me was snoring in my ear. All I hear was... <laughs> so now, I went from taking a nap to waking up to now I can't go to sleep because this lady's snoring next to me. She's like right in my ear next to me. I'm like this whole time. Really, lady? You going to just... Right there in my ear, huh? You gonna just... <clears throat> really? You were better off when I couldn't hear you. I, I'm sorry, that was wrong for me to say, but that's what I was thinking. So, that's done. The bus, all now, all from, this, from that point forward, we had problems with the bus. We had to stop four different times. The bus, the bus broke down four different times. The bus broke down four different times on my way to D.C., it even broke down when I got to D.C. The last time it broke down, I was in D.C. And I was it, it, the bus. The bus had stopped right next to the um, Washington, the, the mall, the National Mall. It had stopped. I was going to say I, I was actually, I was going to tell the bus driver you open the door for me because I'm home. I know where I am. I, I know how to get where I'm in D.C. So, but I said like, no. Let me wait. Let me get to my destination so I, I can make contact with we'll make contact with and we could be good. We we'll make contact with my sister. We could be good and stuff. Let her know I'm I'm in D.C. and stuff. We can go from there. So I said, let me go to go. Go to Union Station and get all off and let me do my thing. So I get off at Union Station. Now the bus ride is over. It's still, the crazy is still going on, but the bus ride is still on. Oh, it's over now. So I'm at Union Station. I'm walking around just to get, you know, reacclimated back to D.C. You know, I ain't been in a minute. I, ain't, I haven't been in D.C. Uh, in a while. So I'm going, to, going, to, going around Union Station to see what's up there, see the store, see if anything has changed. A lot has changed. It's okay. I'm hungry now. I'm about to sit down, give me something to eat, right? So, I go get some Chipotle. <clears throat> Yay, Chipotle. And I go sit down. I'm, just, I'm, I'm still looking around. I'm on the phone talking. I'm still looking around, just taking in the sights and stuff. And I see at this Chick-fil-A, there's an argument going on at the Chick-fil-A. But we're just in the argument. One just in your argument, right? The argument was between... 
the cashier and a hearing impaired man, a deaf man, right? And I don't know what the issue was, but he was pissed. He was he was signing he was he was signing to the lady to the to the cashier you know the young lady he was he was signing to her and he was arguing signing with his interpreter right he was arguing signing with his interpreter so apparently his he and his interpreter were having an argument also because what happened what I saw was I guess he wanted coffee because he had coffee in his hand. He was about to throw the coffee at the cashier. He, he, he got mad. He yelled something. He about to throw it at the cashier. And his interpreter said, no, stop. Don't do that. Stop. So they paid for it. And he, they go back to the seat. And his interpreter was like, I forgot his name. He was like, if you, keep, if you keep doing that, I'm not going to give you any coffee. And the man was about to throw his coffee at his own interpreter. And, he's like, and she was like, no, put it down. I said, okay, this, this is D.C. You know, D.C. may have changed some bit, but there's still some aspects of D.C. that I remember from years ago, so ain't that much change. So I said, okay, now let me go outside and wait for my sister to come pick me up so we can go where we got to go. As I'm outside of Union Station, just relaxing and stuff, I hear this noise. It's like, ah! just screaming. I turn around, there's this lady inside of, well, um, on outside of Union Station yelling at people going by for no reason at all. Just, hey! Hey! Just yelling at them. They jump like they jumping and running, scampering all. I said, yep, this is DC. I see there are some things that, that have not changed yet. So, that was going to DC, that was going to DC, and I'm gonna stop it right there because I, I, it's, like, it's like a three part little thing I got going on. So that was part one of my trip to DC. Okay, I got I got I got a, I got a, I got a story of me while we while I'm in DC, and I got a story about me leaving DC. All three of them are crazy. So I'm stop right there. I catch you all later. Peace, and don't mind. I told you, gang stickers. All right. Catch you all later. Peace.